Hare Krishna, everyone. Danabat Pranams, welcome to talk two in this series of talks on inclusive Vaishnavism. Um, first, I want to start by sharing with you the words of Srila Prabhupada. In Canto 4 of the Srimad Bhagavatam, chapter 28, verse 31, Prabhupada says in his purport, The disciples of Srila Bhaktisiddhanta Sarasvati Goswami Maharaj are all God brothers. And although there are some differences of opinion, and although we are not acting conjointly, every one of us is spreading this Krishna consciousness movement according to his own capacity and producing many disciples to spread it all over the world. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not a massive fan of institutions. Um... I mean, they're OK if they serve a purpose, if they have a meaningful aim. But institutions for the sake of institutions, I'm not a fan of. I'm also not a massive fan of brick walls, um, unless you can at least see over them or unless you can at least move around them. The number of people, certainly in the Western world, practicing Krishna consciousness, practicing Bhakti Yoga is very small. It's very low. In my own research, I've worked out, certainly in Britain, the number of people in our population of 68 million following the path of Lord Titania is about 0.002% of Britain's population. It's hardly something to be proud of. It's hardly something to be celebrate. Yes, we should be proud whenever a new person, we should, we should be joyful whenever a, just one person discovers Krishna consciousness. But for a movement to, to have been in Britain for 50, 60 years, to have just attracted 0.002% of the population, isn't really something to be overwhelmingly proud and, and, and praiseful about. It tells us there's so much work to be done. I've talked a lot about the need for devotees, Hare Krishna devotees, irrespective of the mat that you're in, irrespective of the Sangha that you belong to, to work together more. Now, that doesn't mean we're always going to get on. That doesn't mean we're always going to agree on everything. But I actually think we can take inspiration. I think we can take um, best practice from our Christian brothers and sisters. Now, I know the Christian tradition has a lot of thoughts. I know we will have often had experiences of Christianity that might not be pleasurable or might not be positive. But ultimately, there are things we can learn from our Christian brothers and sisters that we can put into practice in our own lifestyles, in our own ways of spreading Krishna consciousness here in the Bhakti tradition. Many of you that live um, in Britain, and this may be a, the case across the, West, the rest of the Western world, but in Britain, in villages, towns, cities, you'll often find something called um, churches together or Christians together. Now, this is a group of Christians that get together three, four, five times a year to serve the public together, to pray together, to worship God together. Now, they will come from different denominations. In my village, I've got the Catholics, uh, there's the Methodists, uh, there's, the, there's the Anglicans or the Church of England. And yes, they, they meet as separate denominations every Sunday to pray, to worship, for association, to meet other Christians. But on holy days, on festival days, such as Christmas, Easter, harvest, the Christians get together in my village to thank God together, to pray together. Many of you will have heard about this in your own town, city or village. You'll have Christians together or churches together. I think that's a great model of how we can work together more in the Gaudiya Vaishnav tradition, in the Hare Krishna tradition, in the Bhakti tradition. There are so many skills and talents and so many wonderful devotees across the broad spectrum of the Krishna consciousness society. Many of us will have different gurus. Many of us started our spiritual journeys in different mats. Might have been ISKCON, might have been the Sri Taitanya Sarasat Mat, might have been the International Pure Bhakti Yoga Society. Ultimately, we need to be better at working together more. When we work together more, we are much stronger in terms of sharing knowledge, sharing resources, sharing skills, sharing talents. I have a passion for 
Krishna consciousness. I have a passion for this philosophy. I know it sounds a bit sentimental, but this philosophy, this spiritual knowledge changed my life. I was exploring different things, different ideas before I really discovered Krishna consciousness, but I wasn't fulfilled. It wasn't until I read the books of Srila Prabhupada and other Acharyas that I really felt that sense of belonging, that I really felt that sense of richness from the Krishna consciousness philosophy. I know this philosophy, this basic philosophy, that we're not the body, the body isn't who we really are, we're part and parcel of the Supreme, is a very easy to understand and make sense style philosophy. So I'm passionate about sharing it with others. I'm passionate about sharing it with people in the ordinary, everyday world. And I love to share it with my friends, with my brothers and sisters uh, in the Gaudiya Vaishnav community here in Britain. So I think, as Hare Krishna devotees, we need to be a lot better at working together. Yes, there are differences of opinion. Yes, there are different um, preferences of how things should be done. But ultimately... We should focus on that um, missionary zeal that we need to have, spreading Krishna consciousness together with the Western public. Hare Krishna.